Well, hello, good morning, good morning, rise and shine. Happy Saturday, hope you all are doing well. Um, again, just so happy to be here and so happy that you all are here with me. Let me start by introducing myself. I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Today, welcome to class. I'm just a boy mom times two and I am a home cooker, which is what they called me when they were younger. Um, I've been on a health and wellness journey, oh goodness, I guess for the last three years, maintaining a 77 pound weight loss with at least 25 more to go. And for me, I've done this by getting tested for food sensitivities, which is a cheek swab on the inside and some hair samples. Uh, so I have a list of foods on the fridge that I can have and a list of foods that I have to avoid. Hey, good morning, Diarrhea Bell Rose. Welcome to class. Thank you for being here. So, yeah, I eat two meals a day and I eat them when I live stream with you all, unless there are uh, extenuating circumstances. And as you saw last night, uh, we had an impromptu movie night. Somebody wanted to see Doctor Strange, and the whole thing was strange. Y'all, I don't get into Marvel movies. Usually it's a nap for me. But it was, um, yeah, it was a lot. So I did enjoy myself. Um, 
I did have popcorn and a Coke. Uh, I meant to come on last night, but we were at the movies. So I had, um, you know, like I tell you guys, I, I believe in indulging, um, you know, from time to time, because I always say it's not what you eat from time to time. It's what you eat all of the time. So last night, uh, and I ordered the kids combo, which was plenty for me. It was like a small popcorn or a kid's popcorn about that big, you know, the small, like, brown paper lunch sack size. Um, and it came with a small drink. I did get a cherry Coke. I thought about getting, like, a, um, a Coke Zero, but I got the full thing, and it tasted like syrup, and I drank it. Um, and it also came with fruit snacks. But I did want to try, you know, I guess they're trying to expand their menu at the movies now, and they had the Impossible Nuggets. So I did eat those. Um, not bad. You know, meat, and I am a meat eater. When you eat meat, it's got that savory. Y'all know meat kind of tastes, you know, savory. Um, so the Impossible Nuggets, I think I watched them prepare them and they were like, you know, breaded, nugget shaped. The breading was really good, nice and crispy. I think they put them in like a convection oven or an air fryer or something like that. They were not deep fried. Um, but when you bit into them, and I tried to take some pictures and my kids were like, Mom, you're taking pictures at the movies? But um, I try to share with you all what I'm eating. Um, so I guess if you don't eat meat, that's a good plant-based substitute. When you bite into it, once you get past the breading, you know, the filling, since it's plant-based, it had, this is my issue with those plant-based substitutes. And y'all, y'all know I'm not the food police. Eat whatever you like, whatever you like. Um, do what works for you. But as a meat eater, when you bite into those plant substitutes like um, the Just Eggs and these Impossible Nuggets that I had at the movies last night, texture is good. But the taste is underwhelming. It's not savory because it's not meat. It's bland. So it gives you the chew of meat, which is fine, but it doesn't give you the taste of meat. So look, if you're not a meat eater, I'm sure it's a great substitute, you know, for kids. My kid tried it. He had a couple of them. No problem. Hey, good morning, C. Miles. Thank you for being here. Um, so yeah, popcorn, Coke, and um, Impossible Nuggets. So that was my strange meal watching Dr. Strange last night. So as I always do, you know, I'm back on it when I get the rest of this weight on. Hey, good morning, Jess. Thank you. We got channel sponsors in the house. So glad you guys are here. Okay. In all seriousness, I'm vamping for time. We are going to cook, but I placed um, a grocery order and I just got the notification that they've checked out and they're on their way. Just three items. The uh, milk for the boys because they drink real milk. Um, milk, spinach, and eggs. If you all were with me yesterday, you saw that the spinach that I had was looking kind of sad and kind of wilted. So I always want, you know, things to look nice. So we're going to do some unboxing while I'm vamping for time until our grocery order comes. And, um, yeah, just make it up as I go, like I usually do. Um, let's see, do I want to print out the recipe? I'm going to take out, um, I think I have one of those herb cream cheeses, and uh, I'll take that out so it can kind of soften. That's the only thing. All right. I don't know if I want to do raspberries or strawberries on the side. If you all have a uh, preference, let me know.
I hate when that happens, when you know you have something, but I don't want to waste y'all's time looking for it. I just came across a recipe or actually thought of something. So like I always do, I'm just going to put stuff together. I thought this was lemon. Um, but for these salmon pinwheels, we're going to unbox first. Um, what I was hoping to do, I think I have some savory goat's cheese in there. Y'all know I usually do the plain or the sweet one, like honey or blueberry. But this would be a good recipe if you have any of the garlic and herb uh, or something like that. I'm just going to cut some chives into it because this is looking kind of sad. Anyway, um, so I'm going to wash my hands and uh, we've got some boxes here. We'll see what came in the mail while we're vamping for time. Oh, Mother's Day came early. I need to wash it because I don't want to mess up my shirt. I don't know if you can see. I'm wearing my Costa Rica <laughs> souvenir. So we'll see if we can keep this up, keep it together. Um, reminder, tonight we're going to be cooking. Got my Maggie apron on. Tonight we're going to be cooking for Amethyst. And the boys will be here. It'll be a family affair. I'm making chicken and rice, arroz con pollo. Yeah, maybe in the 6-ish p.m. time. Hey, Lumiere, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you, Miles. I appreciate that. Yes, I'm trying to uh, uh, make sure that I represent you all well. I am, um, y'all know I'm African, but uh, I like wearing like bold colors. I like looking at pastels, but pastels don't really look good on my skin. And so I go for the colors that jump off of the rack. So yes, I have this yellow and I have, um, I got it in navy blue. So thank you so much for the compliment. I'm uh, bringing you sunshine wherever you are. You love the yellow. Mona's here. Good morning. Please tell us about your channel, Mona. Um, let's do a quick roll call. Lumiere is present in class. Diary of Belle Rose is present in class. Ah, thank you. See, Miles is present in class. Nakia, absolutely welcome. Present in class. Mona is present in class. Jess W., thank you so much. Present in class. Hmm. All right. Okay. So y'all, thank you so much for the compliments. I always want to represent you well. You all are here to hold me accountable to get the rest of this weight off. Oh so that I can age gracefully. Um, Y'all know I'm 46 and for the first 43 years I ate the standard American diet and I splurged from time to time. If you saw my community tab or my Instagram, you saw we were at the movies last night unplanned, but I did have popcorn and a Coke and uh, <laughs> thank you, Diary Bell Rose. I'm glad y'all like this class. You all are the scholars. I am your teacher. Nana is our principal. Alex is our class clown. You will see him tonight. Um, and the study hall is the live chat. So feel free to pass notes amongst yourself. Leanne is present and counted for. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, pass notes amongst yourselves. Get up. Take a bio break if you need to. Do whatever makes you happy. I got a little bit of quiet time this morning. One is still sleeping. The teenager, the almost 15-year-old. Um, and then the other one is out at a weekend program. Okay, so let's see what we got. I got several boxes here, so we're going to go through them. A couple I ordered, and then a few things. Mother's Day came early. So Walmart. I don't even know, y'all, if this stuff is... Oh, hey, good morning. <laughs> Oh, wow. I didn't know it was this big. Good grief, y'all. What did I buy? Tonight, I guess I'm going to be making a lot of Latin flavors. I need to put my phone on. Do not disturb. I have the ring doorbell, so the motion sensor, and that was my uh, Airbnb guest uh, heading out. I'm used to being alone, so I forget sometimes when I have someone checking in or that has checked in. Mm. <clears throat> 
All right. So again, I'm vamping for time because I always want fresh ingredients so that our pictures pop and you guys, uh, I give you my class the best. And so Instacart is on the way. I just ordered three things. That's one little thing, you guys, Instacart. They do have the quick picks for Publix and Kroger. Um, if you only need a few items, you can. there's a $10 minimum. So I just needed milk, spinach, and eggs. And so I put those in the cart and they'll be here in like, at the time it said 20 minutes, but they're on the way. I know, right? Y'all see what I do? So reminder, tonight I'm gonna be cooking for Amethyst. She will be here. And y'all know I'm making arroz con pollo, so I'm making chicken and rice. I ordered this online. I don't read, I can read, but y'all know what I mean. Um, 36 seasoning packs, that's way more than I need, but I'll be making a lot of Latin dishes for a while. So let's see how that goes. Bulk up the order, right? Oh, see miles for my grocery order. Let me see. I'm drinking my coffee, y'all. I dropped one kid off this morning. So this is my, I always have a little tumbler like this uh, when I'm heading out. And this is the kind of thing, the uh, Panera subscription that I do. Unlimited. My groceries are here. One moment, please. Perfect timing. morning in the parking lot I dropped off my son and I was like what am I gonna make and from the parking lot on my way back home I placed an order for fresh spinach eggs and milk and it's here I'm sorry okay I'm spoiled but so we're gonna get to the cooking but we're gonna do some unboxing All right, so anyway, I was saying I always have these kind of tumblers with me. This is just my, y'all know, uh, coffee with almond milk, and I put my own sugar-free sweeteners. So the uh, Publix, um, not Publix, Panera, I just got from Publix, the Panera uh, subscription service that I always tell you guys about, they have unlimited refills too. So just take your own uh, tumbler in there. Um, maybe Quick Trip and some other places, I don't know. Go in there, get my coffee, get my almond milk, come back to the car and put my sweetener in there, sugar-free, so I always have my own uh, beverages. So when I'm out and about running errands, that's something that I do to, you know, have something. Happy Mother's Day Eve. Saison tastes good in beans. Okay, good. I didn't know that. I don't eat beans while I'm trying to lose, but that's good to know. I'm going to be making a lot or, you know, y'all know I give stuff away. Um, my mom, a lot of the um, African authentic ingredients and Latin authentic ingredients are some of the same stuff. So y'all know Nana will take it. Nana might be on. So, all right, let's see what else is here. I got four boxes that came in. I have no idea, but let's open it up. Hope everybody is doing well. Rise and shine. Got a, a little bit of calm before the storm. Yes, thank you for giving a thumbs up. Y'all, I just get in here and start cooking because I'm hungry. Um, and I can't really see the likes, the software that I use that lets me stream to Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at the same time. I don't see what y'all see. Um, so thank you for liking the videos, whether you're here for the live stream or for the replay, it helps the channel to grow. And then I have, oh, thank you, Diary of Bell Rose, uh, that I have a, another device for Instagram. <gasps> Shoes. Just little sandals. Basic, but, um, I'm opening for you. 
I do like a sandal. I know what they say about sandals. I'm not wearing them now, but um, just a little T-strap sandal, the Okabe. I like this brand. I guess they're like the adult jellies. Don't clown me, but I do like them. Um, they're comfortable. Obviously, they rinse off well, but um, great with a sundress or something. So I'm wearing proper shoes today. <laughs> it's springtime. It's not summer yet, but we're going to get sundress. I know, shoes, right? Exactly. Um, summer is coming. I'm not a hot girl, so I don't hot girl summer because I'm old. I'm 46. I didn't do that anyway. Y'all, that's not me. Um, but I will put on a sundress, so it's nice to have a cute sandal with that. So let me put these away. But yeah, today I'm just wearing, <laughs> you love a good shoe? I know, right? So shows off the pedicure. I keep it year round, but um, it's just nice sometimes you have a little pop of color, but that's not what we're here. Where did the sandals come from? I'm sorry, God's girl. Um, y'all, I just act like y'all know stuff. I will show you. It's Oka B, O-K-A dash B. One second. I'll get the um, package. Okay. So here's the story on this. It's actually everything is connected to food and weight loss journey, y'all. So I don't know if this shows up. Oka, B, O-K-A, -A B. So this is actually a company I had never heard of um, in North Georgia. So they have a sister company called Okabashi. Ah, you saw, Bell, let me know. Oh yes, Target has good sundresses. Um, Y'all know how I'm sending you to Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Ross for... Um, the simple, the skinny syrups, they have good sundresses, and I am good for a $12 Old Navy sundress. Psh, look at my Instagram, y'all. I don't spend money on clothes. But yeah, Oka B. Um, they also have Okabashi. So, O-K-A-B. And I think it's okab.com. I think there's something about sustainable, the material. I don't know. I don't really care. I do care. I didn't mean it that way, but I started with Okabashi because when I was, you know, really large, I, sh I shared with you guys, I forgot about all this stuff, y'all. I just moved on with life, but uh, it reminds me and it keeps me humble. I had a lot of joint pain and, um, you know, ankle, knee, back pain, especially carrying around all that weight. And y'all, one of the things that I forgot, I used to have to wear um, like special shoes, like with the arch support or orthotic, orthotics or insoles or all of that kind of stuff because every step was so painful. Um, and again, I didn't know inflammation, right? Taking pain pills, spending hundreds of dollars on, you know, shoes with arch support and all this stuff. All that has gone away. Now, the shoe that I'm wearing today is just a regular flat. <laughs> Nothing special um, because it doesn't hurt anymore to walk. And I'm an active person, so I just remember like every step being painful. I, w I remember like being in the office and like, oh, this is so embarrassing, but it's true. Um, I work from home now, thankfully, but I am a corporate executive, former corporate executive. I work from home in tech, but I remember like needing to use the bathroom and like thinking to myself, like, is it going to be worth like the pain of, you know, walking over there? Like, can I hold it? So anyway, this is how I got turned on to Okabashi. So check out O-K-A-B-A-S-H-I.com. So they make like supportive shoes for older people um, with special arch support and whatever, but they're not the most attractive. And so, you know, I'm not really a fashionista, but I do enjoy now because I feel better being able to dress better. Um, and so I started with okabashi.com. 
getting like sandals and, you know, go look at it. They may have a, a couple things that you would wear. But their sister company, Oka B, um, they still have like some art support and there's some technology in there, y'all. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a home cook. But now uh, I stayed on the sister brand because they make more like um, fashionable, if you will. And these are really plain, but they have the T-strap sandals that has like, I have the black ones that has like the little sparkles here and all kind of stuff. But yeah, just remembering that now I used to, it just affects everything that you buy, the clothes, you know, now this is like a little, um, this is my Costa Rica souvenir, just being able to go and get regular clothes and just put them on and they fit and just get regular shoes and they put them on and they fit. I'll never, I'll never forget. I'll never forget. Ah, just wears Birkenstocks. I don't think my stylist would let me wear, wear uh, Birkenstocks, but I've heard they're very comfortable. I should try them. Do they have an elegant Birkenstock? I haven't seen one. Um, inbox me a link. I've heard Birkenstocks are comfortable, but y'all, I have to represent you well and myself. Um, okay, y'all, so y'all are just talking amongst yourselves. Okay, good. So yeah, give it a try, take a look. Um, they're a little pricey, like this little sandal. Okay, for me, this is pricey. 40 plus dollars for a little jelly sandal but because they have that arch support technology i don't know but yeah you end up it costs you a lot so let's um move on <laughs> jess says no no to what they don't have uh cute birkenstocks y'all have to stay cute i'm on my way to 50 i gotta hold on <laughs> But the moral of the story is no more. Um, I buy those shoes because I want to, not because my steps are painful anymore. All right. So I got three boxes delivered yesterday, y'all. And I'm very excited. Ugh. So we're going to open these and then we're going to make our salmon pinwheels. I'll take my time this morning. I'm always feeling like y'all are like, get to the cooking. But hopefully you enjoy the other stuff too. <sighs> okay. So Mother's Day is tomorrow. Happy early Mother's Day. Tomorrow um, we will be at Nana's. I asked her what she wanted for Mother's Day and she said she wants to do gardening with the boys. So y'all know I will be there on photo duty because, no, sorry, that sounds horrible. But I just, I know God made dirt, dirt don't hurt, but I don't like dirt. Sorry. Okay. So I got a special delivery an early Mother's Day. And apparently I said, and I don't remember this, but I said, no more purses, no more watches, no more jewelry. And so I got other stuff. And now I'm thinking, did I really say that? Was I conscious? Was I like, okay, yes. You know, I'm okay. No more watches. I have four. So like gold, silver, a rose gold, and like a tritone. What else do you need? Purses. I have black, brown, you know, like a yellow, and um, like a multicolor. Like what else do you need? But no more jewelry? Did I say that? I don't remember saying that. But anyway, apparently I said that. So watch what you say, ladies. So this is, um, I think it's a set. I saw the picture. It's kind of like a, like a tea set or party set or something um, cooking related in a box. So let's see. Hopefully I don't regret those restrictions. Aw, thank you so much, Mona. I know, Sherry, baby, I'm like, oh, crap. You know how you're like, oh, I don't need anything. Don't worry about me. And then the day comes and you're like. <laughs> I know, Bill. I wonder how many watches, needs watches, has in his collection. I'll have to ask him next time he's on. But uh, I know people that have, like, a whole bunch of everything. And 
I'm just on this, you know, like, it's not part of the weight loss journey, but like, as I change and the boys get older, like I'm starting to donate more and give away more and just have less, but good quality. I don't know. We'll see. But I could, I, I did say, you know, another necklace would be nice. <laughs> But thank you so much, y'all. Completely optional. Just being here makes my day. But if you want to support, I do have a cash app. It's dollar sign M Brown. We're on our way to 999 subscribers. Nana said she will subscribe, but she wants to be number 1,000. Let's see what's happening over here at Instagram. Um, but um, if you want to support, you know, before I'm monetized, you know, it's completely optional. Like I said, I'm just glad that y'all are here. Let's see if we can get Instagram back online. All right. <gasps> the first box. <laughs> I know, Nakia, right? Who does that? Now I regret it. Trying to be all, oh, don't worry about me. Who does that? Rich, luxurious chocolate, Harry and David. Do y'all like these little, like, you know, gift tower and fruit and chocolate basket things? To me, they're kind of hit or miss. Of course, I'm grateful for everything. But if I'm going to get like a chocolate delivery, I like the, um, the edible arrangements, the ones that they actually make them fresh, like in the shop, because there's one close to me and they'll deliver it or you can pick up. I have gotten Sherry's Berries before. But I don't know, by the time they shipped them, it was just a little banged up. It wasn't the best, but this was a gift. So Maggie, be grateful. <laughs> Small and petite, like me, lies, lies. Okay, but it's cute. Let's see what it is. Do y'all wanna do this unboxing with me? I don't wanna you know, take up time if you're just here for the snacks. So let me know. And you know enough about me now. Oh, you like Harry and David? Oh, charcuterie board. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, y'all. So, you're here for the unboxing? Okay, good. I'm just going to take my time and have fun. Okay, okay, good. Hey, Charlie Reed, thank you for coming to class. I'm on my way, Belle. Yes. Okay, so, y'all know about me. I take pictures of everything. This is me just being like, I want to remember everything. So I'm taking a picture of the package, then I'll open it and take a picture of the content. So just bear with me. Um, but you say charcuterie board. Uh, so if you guys remember, <laughs> I'm just sharing everything with y'all. Friday, yesterday, I was supposed to take the day off, but I've moved it to Monday. I've got a girlfriend who's coming into town. She's actually a former Airbnb guest, travel nurse, hardworking and, um, we're doing a spa day. It was supposed to be Friday, but it's going to be Monday. So I'll be out of pocket on Monday. Uh, she's coming into town to get her car painted. And the um, weather forecast called for rain. So they couldn't paint her car. And it's like an all-day thing. So while she's having her car service, she's going to come here. I have um, scheduled facials for both of us. Y'all know I'm big on the facials. Facials. Manny Petties massage yeah i think that's it so mani petty facial and massage so we're gonna make monday a spa day so i think i'm gonna save all my mother's day stuff and like lay it on the table because you know you don't want to cook when you're having service so anyway so very exciting so this is a little packaging it's like a little bee and a little box and this is perfect for you know a box of chocolates you just want a little bit you don't need that whole big old thing All right, so I'm just taking a picture of the package. Oh, you know, I love cooking and all that stuff, but it, it is nice to get little stuff, you know? Why are y'all laughing at me? Your berries were a bit a little banged up too. Okay, so same thing with Sherry's berries. Yeah, you received it and it's nice, but it wasn't the best experience for me, so I wouldn't do it again, but you know, let's see. All right, so these are little... Ooh, Harry and David, what is this? It doesn't say. They look like, should I eat one? Um, they look kind of big to be those Jordan almonds. 
Oh, the label's on the back. Doggone it. I was hoping I'd have to open it. Oh, cherries. Let's see. You're right, C. Miles. Chocolate cherries. Chocolate cherries. So that's cute. I'm not a big cherry person, but I'm grateful. Um, so we'll keep these sealed up. I remember when I was in Paris, we were on the roadside and um, they have like little fruit stands, you know, it's very quaint. And, um, you know, we were just tasting everything there and I had some cherries in France. They were so good and naturally sweet, you know, their normal standard is kind of like our organic standard. It was excellent. So let's see what this is. <sighs> Truffles! So it says milk chocolate, coffee, and cherry on this side. And then this side says dark chocolate, raspberry, and almond. The cherries look good. Okay. So I'm not going to open these. I don't know if I want to share. I'm the mother for Mother's Day. Greedy. Yeah, these I got to put away because the kids are good for getting you stuff. And then can I have some? No, you can't have any. This is for me. Yes, chocolate cherries, Diary Bell Rose. So we've got some truffles and y'all. I know, right? So I'm going to save these. I don't think I'm going to share. I want to eat them one at a time. Hide them. Exactly. Y'all know how it is. You know how the kids come around. Why do you think I'm doing this under the cloak of secrecy? One kid is still sleeping. One kid is at a weekend program. So I got to open this stuff now. It arrived yesterday. Hide them. Hide them in my room. Exactly. Shoot. All that cooking I do for them. I told y'all about one Mother's Day. I got a, uh, was it a box of M&M's or a box of Skittles? You know, like the dollar store box, like the movie box. Big Mike says, I need to share. <laughs> Diary of Bell Ransom, don't share. Y'all, Mother's Day comes once a year. Okay, I'm trying to put them back. Okay, so... So we had chocolate cherries and then some truffles. Doggone it, these are mine. I want to drink. This is what I want to do. At night, when the kids are down, I want to have either, either a glass of wine or a nice coffee, like an evening coffee, and eat my truffles one at a time and let them melt slow and savor them. Y'all, let me tell you something. Don't share anything. Y'all, I remember one year, I don't know if it was for Valentine's Day or something, but I got, you know, the big box of chocolates and I'm nice and I'm generous and the boys come through and they're just like, ooh, and you know, it was a big box. This size is perfect for me because it's just one of each flavor. I just want to taste. I don't need the whole thing. So I had this big box of chocolates and the boys are like, ooh, what's that? And I was like, would you like one? When I tell you them greedy gong gongs, which is my what Nana called us when we were little, those greedy gong gongs took the the truffles or whatever, and like, oh, 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 you know, throwing them up and oh, catching them or whatever. I was like, don't do that to my chocolates. You have to savor them. You have to eat them slow. This Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or whatever comes once a year. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. I'm having flashbacks. And. I slowly read the packaging. Rich, luxur lux can't read. See, y'all are laughing. Daggum kids. Boys don't know how to eat anything. When I tell you, I have seen my boys. You're hollering. I have made a beautiful meal for the boys and I will watch them. Put the plate at their chin, get a fork and just scrape it. Greedy gong gongs, exactly. That's what Nana used to call us. You know how, it's all full circle, y'all. Family is everything. You know how you used to circle around mom when you could smell the food was ready and you want to taste stuff like a, like a dog waiting for something to drop. And she was like, sit down, you greedy gong gongs. <laughs> oh yeah, steal it, y'all. Steal everything, crumb snatchers. Mine are soul snatchers. <laughs> greedy gong gongs. <laughs> I'm working up a sweat, y'all. 
I'm all nervous. It's like, I don't want the boys to notice that I have something like, mom, what's that? And then I don't know, y'all, does your mother instinct kick in and you're just like, oh, should I share? Especially if I have extra. I'm such a softy, y'all. But I got to get over it. You can't stop laughing. Yes, exactly. Don't ask that question. Okay, don't make your stomach hurt. Okay, yeah. So we're doing this in secrecy. By the time the boys ever see this video, this Mother's Day will be long gone. Let me read my card. Oh my God. Rich, luxur luxurious chocolate. And y'all know I eat clean. So this is a special, special treat. Crafted in our candy kitchen by dedicated confectioners. Our chocolate is made with the finest ingredients and carefully selected cocoa beans ground to our precise specifications. The result is our signature blend of chocolate known for its silken texture and rich depth of flavor. Take a moment and treat yourself. What does that say? Class, read together. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. Sorry, that wasn't elegant. Treat yourself to a velvety, smooth chocolate indulgence unlike any other. Y'all, Harry and David said treat yourself. Exactly. Them kids don't need none. Don't share. Don't share with the boys. Thank you. The don't share is habit. So I got to find a place like... I got to... But see, then I'm old and I hide stuff and then I forget where I put it. Chocolate reads like a romance novel, doesn't it? Yes, exactly. Treat yourself. Ah, I love you, chocolate. I love you, Maggie. You are mine forever. Maybe not forever. <laughs> okay. Sherry made me say, go eat your Cheez-Its. That must be for the kids, right? Exactly. Okay. All right. We gotta find a place. Where can I put it? I have a remote console. Stingy, exactly, stingy this weekend. Ratchet elegance, oh my God, no, I don't wanna be ratchet, I wanna be elegant. Okay, y'all, if I forget, remind me. My couch has a remote console. I'm gonna put the chocolates in there. yourself exactly it's our day right we do everything for them everything sorry ratchet elegance coming up y'all see why i need classes okay thank you Yours, you my secret is safe with you okay hey amethyst we'll see you tonight amethyst look what came in big old pack of uh bouillon cubes all right next box that was the first one that was the Sorry, my phone. That was the first one. I got two more, y'all. Mother's Day came early and I'm not sharing. All right. Let's see. This is so much fun. I love giving gifts. If you are a channel sponsor, Belle, yours is on the way. Let me know if you have an address to share. I love putting little care packages and, you know, packing little things together. Thank you for the hearts on Instagram. Um, I, I'm such a giver, and I really do have a giving spirit. But, y'all, it's nice to get some. The card says, Harry and David, our wine collection. We need to turn that into a song. Treat yourself. This goes with the chocolate. That's so big. All right. 
see, and I'm so petty, I'll put this in plain sight where they can see, like right on the table, because they know they can't have any. Get rid of the box. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a student of TLA, so if he's Section 8, then I'm Ratchet Elegance. I don't know if I like that. I want to be elegant for y'all. I try. But I get excited. Bye. Harry and David, Pino. Y'all. Is it? It can't be Gris. Pino Gris? Pino Gris? Hi, Firewalker. Moreno, thank you so much for coming to class. Ooh, ah. Oh, hold up. I gotta go get my chocolates from the safe spot because we gotta take pictures. <clears throat> All right, so two of the three boxes. Do I like dry wine? I like free wine. Y'all, um, honestly, no. I have been to a few wine pairings, but look. Mo Mother's Day came early, so I'm grateful. Um, but I will chill it and see. Apparently, I told someone, no more purses, no more watches, no more jewelry. I do not remember the no more jewelry part. Maybe the purses and the watches, and I never said no more shoes. But so far, we have Harry and David chocolate and a Pinot. Um, Gris, I guess. Pinot Gris. Okay. So, let's take a picture of those together. Maybe these will go up on my community tab. I have to share with you guys. That's pretty. I'm just grateful to be thought of, honestly. So, I was going to say I'll bring it to the meetup, but they the meetup comes with wine. Excuse me. So we have our Harry and David Pinot Gris. So I don't know much about wine. Y'all don't clown me, but I like it light and sweet. So yes, I drink Moscato. I will have a Riesling um, paired with food. I love the, the wine tours and learning about them paired with food. Maybe it'll go well with the chocolate. Would the Pinot go well with chocolate? I don't know. Uh, Belle, you're enjoying this live. <laughs> I know you got stuff to do. And I got stuff to do. We're supposed to be making a salmon pinwheel. The groceries came like 30 minutes ago. <sighs> Travel mug, uh, Panera, coffee, almond milk, and my cream, my uh, sweetener, sugar-free sweetener. I was out and about this morning. All right, last box. So number two box. Oh, let's see. Let's read the packaging. You're going to get a bottle too? Absolutely. Harry and David Wine Collection. Let's do a little commercial. This is what I do, y'all. Anytime I get anything, it'd be a Tic Tac. I'm reading it because I don't... I need to enjoy my moments. Uncork something exceptional. I got to take this off the screen. Ratchet elegance. I don't want people to think of me like that. I am elegant. I will be one day. Our exceptional Harry and David wine collection follows a tradition of excellence. And each wine is nurtured every step of the way from the, from the vine to the bottle. We source wine grapes from multiple terriers around the state to create dynamic wines with complexity and incredible flavor from crisp, delicate whites to bold and fruit forward reds. That's me. All of our wines, including our award-winning varietals, are made in Southern Oregon with a glass of our extraordinary wine. Oregon says at the bottom, Add a bottle of Harry and David wine to select gifts for a special touch. Look through our catalogs for the grapes icon or visit our website to see which of our expertly crafted gifts are available to ship with wine. So Mother's Day came early. 
So I will be enjoying some Pinot Gris. Maybe when the boys are gardening with Nana. Maggie's not ratchet, but... Oh yes, thank you for the likes. Thank you for subscribing. If you like what I'm doing, if you like ratchet elegance, yo, we gotta squash that. Maggie is elegant. I have to present myself accordingly. I know, right? Exactly. The writing is exquisite. All right, last box, and then we're gonna get to the salmon. So, but I am grateful. Whether whether I would have chose this or not, chosen this or not, somebody chose it for me. So look, I'm just happy to have something. Because these kids, y'all know it's all about them. So I'm going to have my moment. Ooh. There's a cooler in here. So it's all Harry and David. Okay, so the first box was Harry and David chocolates. That's very nice. The second box was Harry and David wine, Pinot. That's nice. So this card on the other box says, just for you, I'm not sharing. Ooh. So let's see, I don't even know what's in here. Just for you. Is Maggie sharing? Absolutely not. I am not sharing. Aw, thank you. Aw, y'all still think I'm elegant? Thank you. I feel like I'm silly and quirky and all of that, but if y'all think this is elegant, thank you. I will continue taking my classes and refine. Just for you. Crafted with quality ingredients, cultivated by expert growers, or chosen from unique sources around the world, each Harry and David gift is special. And this one was chosen just for you. We hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Let's see what it is. Lift from bottom only. I'm just gonna take the top off. It's a hat box. Ooh, I smell savory treats. So there's a big box in there. Let's see, I'm gonna put it down, see if I can. Oh. So the, this is when I would ask the kids, can y'all help me open this? But I'm not asking anybody because I don't want the greedy gong gongs around me. Let me show you what I did. This is not elegant. I put the box between my knees. Like this. And I... Okay. Yes, I'm feeling very special. You all make me feel special. And happy Mother's Day. So it comes in this insulated cooler, which is good. Um, if you order, I love to cook, but on the holidays, I believe in catering because it's a lot. I have done it from scratch, but it's a lot. Honey baked ham, um, they will send you everything like your family meal in these um, styrofoam coolers. And you can reuse them. So let's see. It's still cold. Hey, Charlie Reed. I know I'm getting a workout, y'all. I don't even know what this is. Marion Berry. Seedless Preserves, Harry and David, Marion Berry. It looks like a blackberry. I've never heard of it. Y'all know how people just go through the catalog and they're like, that sounds fancy. I am grateful. Okay. I love this box. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Let me take a picture and then we'll see what's in the hat box. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. <sighs> yes. All right. 
take a picture. All of this y'all will see on my community tab and Instagram. Try to get nice pictures. So, so far we have chocolate covered cherries. We have truffles. trying to get it by itself without all this stuff on the counter but I'll, I'll do more pictures later okay let's see what's in there I know right so pretty It looks like a bunt cake and English muffins. Spa day is not gonna be on plan. I know, I know. I feel kind of bad now because the, not bad, but apparently I said no more purses, no more watches, no more jewelry. Um, but this is so nice. I don't remember that. Not the no more jewelry. I retract. So Wolferman's English muffins and a little bunt cake. <gasps> Lemon poppy. Isn't that so cute? Like a little English. Uh, I'll do some teas. Monday is my spa day um, So with a girlfriend. So I'm going to do like set everything out, do some teas, have maybe <laughs> the chocolate, the wine. I can't drink that. But this little hat box is so adorable. Ah, oh, yay. All right, one last thing at the bottom. All right. I know, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Y'all, I could have gotten nothing. Oh. It's not a pie. Onion cheese quiche. That is so nice. And it's still cold. It's a cooler on ice. Onion and cheese quiche. So this is going to go in the fridge and I'll put this in the air fryer tomorrow. Let me see if it'll fit. That is so nice. So we'll have our quiche. We'll have our uh, chocolate. We'll have our bagel, our little bunt cake. Ah! Let's see if there's anything else in here. I know, isn't that nice, y'all? Isn't this so fun? Oh. Ooh. I don't have to cook on Monday, spa day. On the ice, it also came with Canadian bacon. So that's nice. I can warm these up in the skillet. I have brunch and desserts for Monday. Oh, so we have quiche. We have bagels with Canadian bacon. And it's all, it's still cold, all on ice. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, y'all. So we're gonna set the table, have our quiche. I'll just put this back in here. I'll put it away later. Uh, let me take one last picture. Let's see if I can set it up so y'all can see. I may have to lift it up. The gifts just keep coming, I know. It's 
hard to see. All right. <sighs> so I'll have to take a picture of everything, but um, we have our chocolates and chocolate covered cherries. I have a lemon poppy bunt cake. Hey, cook. I have an onion and cheese quiche. So this is our egg and protein. I have um, English muffins with uh, Marion berry preserves. Look like blackberries to me. So that'll be nice, a little toasted with a little bit of butter or cream cheese. Leanne? No, it is not. And the greedy gong gongs do not get any. <laughs> um, Canadian bacon. So, oh, and a bottle of Pinot. So from Harry and David, Mother's Day came early. I feel very special and incredibly grateful. Um, so Monday, I will be off. Monday is going to be a spa day. I got a girlfriend coming into town. She's getting her car painted, so she's got a whole day to wait. And we're going to do facials, um, mani-pedi, and massage. And so I'm going to set the table, get all this stuff plated, and you guys will see a picture. But uh, this is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know, a nice little brunch, right? You're hungry now. I'm hungry too. Okay. <sighs> Let's put this stuff away. I think I'll put everything in this little white cooler, including the chocolates. They won't, they won't notice it. So, very thoughtful. And it is very thoughtful because um, apparently, I gave uh, instructions. Um, you know, if somebody asks you, of course, if you just get a gift, etiquette is just be grateful for everything. If someone asks you, you know, of course, you can say what you would like, but still be grateful for everything. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, excuse me. But um, I do appreciate this gift because you all know me by now. Like I love um, little delicacies and I love like little servings and you know just little stuff like this so it's very very thoughtful even if you know I would have probably gotten a different wine or whatever none of that matters I'm grateful all right So that was fun. <laughs> okay, like an hour ago, I ordered some groceries, Publix delivery. I got regular milk for the boys because they're gonna be eating cereal and whatever else they want. So let me put this in the fridge. Some fresh spinach. We're going to use this for our salmon pinwheels. I know, but wait, there's more. Some fresh parsley. I don't know why, but just to keep, you know, I'll usually add it to my cart. They're like a dollar. Um, and then always eggs, but no eggs today. We're going to make some salmon pinwheels class. Let me print out this recipe while I get everything out. It's really simple. It's just layer and go. I think you guys saw the... Oh, I just hate when you try to click on something and you know how they give you like all of the daggum advertisements. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to clean off the counter and then get our 
recipe going. And I'll just do some berries on the side. Edible arrangements delivery. Oh, what just drove by the edible arrangements, y'all? I love that. I didn't get any fruit in this delivery, which is perfect because I have blueberries, raspberries, and um, strawberries. I like the edible arrangements. Somebody's getting treated for Mother's Day. Y'all know this weekend, yes. But I celebrate all of you. If you are a mother, y'all know how it is. Greedy gong gongs are everywhere. All right, so let's clean off our counter. Links are in the description. Just regular old brandless multi cleaner. You refill it because I do care about the environment. It comes with a little concentrate that looks like a little dishwasher pack and you put it in there, add water. I try not to carry a lot of heavy stuff. I'm not doing that, especially with the boys gone. So I try to, I do care about the environment, but then I also don't want to, you know, be lugging around all those cleaners. Yes, they are working hard. All right, hand washing. If you need home fragrance, I am a Scentsy consultant. This is Luna. Oh, that was so much fun. I do recycle. We'll use all of my boxes or flatten them down. Okay, going to the printer to get my recipe. All right, so you guys saw the picture, smoked salmon pinwheels. I just thought I would do something a little, I don't know, maybe kids could do this. Um, Mother's Day is tomorrow. I had some smoked salmon that I wanted to go ahead and use and you know all you need are the ingredients, two flour tortillas, y'all know I'm using cassava, one container of, it says lemon and pepper Asiago cheese dip. I'm going to use my goat's cheese. I was digging around for, um, y'all know I've had, I use the flavored goat's cheeses. Usually you see me use honey or blueberry, sometimes a cranberry. But if you ever get the herb or the savory, not sweet goat's cheeses, the ones that are like garlic and herb or whatever, you can use that. So it brings a little bit of uh, flavor to your smoked salmon. I'll look one more time, but I couldn't find it. Two cups of baby spinach. That's where I got the fresh spinach red onion i got a little bit left so we'll chop this up and fresh dill i'm not a dill person uh, but i'm gonna do chives just making it up as i go um, let me check one more time for that goat's cheese if i don't see it we're gonna use our good old spreadable shabri yes thank you all so much for being here oh i didn't turn it on y'all All right, that's okay. I didn't see it, but I did see some salad that needs to go. I was trying to do the meal prep thing. That's why I just 
yeah, let me wash my hands. Okay, no problem at all. Use what you have. That's why I'm Maggie, your substitute teacher. Chives will go well with the herb goat cheese. Yeah, I didn't find any, so I'm using plain. Uh, maybe, I know Leanne likes the bagel seasoning. Uh, maybe I could find a little herby kind of seasoning just to put on the plain. It is really not that serious, y'all. Y'all know I'm not a chef. I'm just a home cooker. <laughs> all right. But this is something you could do for yourself. You know, you could teach the kids to do. It's really simple. Um, I've made them before, but let's see how they do it. Place two flour tortillas in a single layer on a clean work surface. I'm using one, if y'all saw last night, impromptu movie outing. We went to see Doctor Strange, which is strange. Um, I'm not a Marvel person, but I did have popcorn and a Coke, which is fine. Y'all know I'll splurge, you know, at an outing, but I got the kid size uh, popcorn, which is like lunch sack size, paper brown uh, sack and a small cherry Coke, tasted like syrup, but I drank it, and those impossible nuggets. So, um, wanna get back on track today. <gasps> Condemnia, you're here. Let me know if I need to go change. I will change. Uh, you just missed the unboxing. Uh, we're getting started on the um, salmon pinwheels now. Oh, you're noticing more goat's cheese. You know, a lot of people are sensitive to cow dairy and maybe don't even know it. Uh, goat's cheese in a fig pizza. Kroger has flatbread. Ooh, yummy. Now, condemn you, you are right on time. Y'all, feel free to multitask in my class. Feel free to come and go as needed. I'm just happy that you're here. All right, so I am using my cassava tortillas. Anybody new here, I'm sensitive to gluten. I got these on Amazon. Link should be in the description. La tortilla. But you can see they're made with cassava flour, which is a root vegetable. So these count like a vegetable for me. If you can have regular tortillas, have the flour kind. This is the cassava tortilla. You see it gives you that tortilla experience. Um, it is a little bit more delicate, so you see that it does tear easy. Um, so just be careful when it's like raw like this, um, but it's totally fine. You can uh, oil and air fry to make nachos. Y'all have seen me make tacos, burritos, everything. Where are the pearls? Okay, yes. All right. We're going to take a commercial break. I'm going to go put Condemnia's Pearls on because he is a channel sponsor. And I remember you said that. So um, I'm just wearing a Costa Rica t-shirt. We'll take a little commercial break. And I almost put them on. But I was like, what if he's not on? I'm going on early. And I'll make the daggone salmon pinwheels with pearls. So I'm going to bring up our channel sponsors. Thank you all so much. I'll be right back.
<laughs> oh goodness. And I'm back. <laughs> okay, so we got the pearls on. Y'all, this whole pearls picture, there's a whole story behind it. We'll focus on that later. Oh, pearls and an apron. So I'm just wearing a t-shirt. This is uh, one of my um, Costa Rica souvenirs. <laughs> some jeans and some flat shoes. But by request, pearls and apron. All right, who makes, who cooks in pearls? Maggie does. All right, so back. Yeah, shout out to the channel sponsors. Thank you, Amethyst. Um, I may go back to the cold later today, but we'll see. All right, so we have our cassava tortilla. Now, spread the, it says the lemon pepper cheese dip. It says spread it over the tortillas. This calls for two. I'm just doing one, y'all. It's just me. Um, so what I'm doing, y'all know I'm a fan of goat's cheese because I can't have cow dairy. If you can have cow dairy, then have the cheese dip or cream cheese. This is uh, my substitute, the Chavri. This you can get at Publix. You can get online. Um, this is a soft, spreadable goat's cheese that... Um, it's my substitute for cream cheese. Ah, you like the pearls. You like the pearls and the apron. Y'all like it? Condemnia approves. Y'all, right. I may have to keep the pearls like here in the kitchen and put them on when I um, start cooking. Apparently this is uh, what you like. So whatever you like. All right, so we're gonna spread our goat's cheese on our tortilla. One of the things, like I said, that I love about the Chavri is that even right out of the fridge, you can see it's a creamy texture. So I'm gonna go kind of liberal on the uh, cassava tortilla. If you can have um, flour, then use whatever you have. This is where you could experiment. If you get some of those flavored goat's cheeses, this is where you could experiment. <laughs> yes, Maggie Merch, y'all. There's more coming. I got a little issue with the Bitmoji. Apparently I can buy them, but um, I don't know. We'll see if I can sell them. They haven't taken my store down, but I did place an order with Fiverr. Y'all know I'm a student of <laughs> lead attorney and he got his logo made uh, with Fiverr, and so it's basically like freelance artists. I'll show y'all what I'm doing. Freelance artists that, um, you know, you can pay 30, 40, 50, whatever you want, whatever their price is, and tell them what you want. So I just want a good um, uh, caricature or likeness of me, like a little cartoon Maggie. All right, oh, all right. So the cassava tortillas are very delicate. So let me just put this down because they will tear, um, so just gentle. I got a little tear, but it's fine. All right, I think that's good. <laughs> All right, so you can see the, I got a little piece that tore off, but mm. goat's cheese for me. So this, um, Recipe says lemon and pepper. Ooh, I'll sprinkle a little lemon and pepper, right? I'll make my own. Ah. Because we're doing smoked salmon, lemon pepper may be a good. I'm gonna go really light, because lemon pepper, you can overdo it. Some people like a lot, like on wings or whatever. I'm just gonna do a lightly, because I really want the salmon to shine through. Leanne, I thought about you on this one. Okay, you can see just lightly. If you want more, you could do more. Um, I just don't want it to overpower because I've oversalted before. I thought about you with that bagel seasoning. Thank you, Igwe. You like the roller studs, y'all? That's all that I do. Let me tell you something. My 
beauty routine has been the same for years. I don't do much. Um, I do. I just get roller sets in my hair. Um, I wear my own hair. Do whatever you like. But um, others used to call me Netty Pearl. Don't nobody want that Netty Pearl. But apparently y'all like the roller sets and the pearl. So, hey, go Maggie. I'm just going to be over here doing what I'm doing. And everybody else can do the same. Um, so we got some lemon pepper. But thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. That, that means the world to me because y'all y'all know. But yeah, that's all I do. Once a week, shampoo, <laughs> um, condition really well, and I just do roller sets. I keep heat off of my hair. I don't put anything <laughs> in my hair. You'll either see it like this, or you'll see it clipped up out of my face because I don't like it in my glasses. Keep the split ends trim. I mean, I do have, you know, thick African hair, but that's all I do. So thank you for the compliment. Oh, Charlie Reed. Thank you for saying that. Every time I get these daggum chives, y'all, they look so, and I don't even like the way they smell. And I just got these. It's a delicate onion and shallot flavor, but I don't like it. So I have some, are they freeze dry? I have the little dried chives. I'm going to use a little bit. I'm hit or miss with the herbs. I try to go fresh, but I bought these online, these you know, chives. So I'm just going to get a, a spoon and spoon some of them on just to give me a little bit of that onion flavor. Eh. But thank you. I want to be naturally beautiful for you all. But honestly, you know, as a boy mom, it's important, you know, um, and I have teenage boys and they're at that age. And y'all, what is in the schools now? And I don't want to preach and sound like that old, you know, lady, but, um, I will say this delicately. It is important to me that my boys and anybody, um, sees that natural can be beautiful. And that's all I'll say. All right. I'm just doing a little bit of chives on here. The fresh ones didn't really, you know, look appetizing. I didn't really get them sprinkled well. I guess I'll do just a little bit more. Oh, Amethyst, you're setting up on fiber. Okay, good. Yeah, you're good. Y'all, Amethyst is coming over tonight. We are making arroz con pollo. I'm thinking it's going to be around 6-ish p.m. Got to take one kid to get his bike brakes fixed. You know, got a couple giveaway boxes, um, pick up, drop off. All right, just a few extra chives. If you can go with fresh, go with fresh. I The freeze dried is what I'm doing right now. Yes, absolutely. Ah, uh, ah, uh, you guys. See, 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 see. Oh, thank you. Y'all. And again, I'm not going to say anything because we love everybody. And I encourage you to do what you think is best. But um, it's important to me. I have, oh God, y'all don't, nothing is controversial here. But um, I will say this. Everybody has reasons to do what they do. But um, working in tech, I have a lot of friends from India. And... Um, how can I say this delicately? I don't want to be controversial, but for me, it goes so much deeper because in their faith, you know, some of their ceremonies include shaving off their hair, you know, for purification and other things. And to see that something that was given in sacrifice to be assembled and I have a problem with that. That's me, 100% me. Do whatever works for you. Yes, absolutely, yeah. I'm a boy mom, but y'all have daughters. It's important. And what I see, y'all, I'm going way off. This is why I just I just make the snacks. But um, in all seriousness, you know, my best friend told me people will see by what you do, 
and what you don't do. So you all will see me every day. <laughs> this is Maggie. This is me. So, hey, you know, if you need a hot girl summer, that's not on my channel. Okay, focus, Maggie. So we've got the lemon pepper and the cheese dip spread, the smoked salmon. So I had some left over. I'm going to go ahead and finish this pack. Ooh, amethyst. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I believe it. I can be beautiful. And it's soft and uh, it smells good. It feels good. Yeah. Works for me. Okay, so this is just smoked salmon that you can get from the store. It says, place the salmon in a single layer evenly over both tortillas. I'm going with one. That was a 10 ounce pack. So this is half, like five ounces. Um, Y'all know I kind of double up on the protein. So I'm going to see if I can get this into kind of the thin sheets. But I'm glad y'all understand. Because I think by now, thank you, Igwe. Not hot, exactly. No hot girl summer over here. Y'all, what do I look like? 40-something, somebody's mom. But honestly, a big part, I mean, I've always been this way. Ask Leanne, you know, people who've known me for 20 years, this is just who I am. But I'll never forget, you know, I'm, I'm divorced amicably, so sometimes I have the boys and sometimes I don't. They're spending more time with their dad, as they should, because they're teenagers now. But I, I, I won't forget the first time I was out, just at the dollar store or something, and um, I didn't have the boys. And I heard someone say, hi, Marcus, mom. You know, and it's my weekend and, you know, I'm out there just doing what I do, shopping for bargains. And someone called me Marcus mom. Uh, going to work out. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much for being here, Diary of Bellrose. Um, and that changed my life forever. I know it sounds dramatic, but I was just like, from here on out, I'm somebody's mother. And they, they were like a pre-K, like years ago. So like 10 years ago. And I never forgot that. So for me... Do what you like, but for me, I want to represent myself well, and I want to represent my children well, whether they're with me or not, because you all know. <sighs> all right, so I put the smoked salmon all over our uh, cassava tortilla, which has cream cheese or goat's cheese for me, a little lemon pepper, a little bit of chive. Mm. Getting excited. See, this is where I'm like, I'm like, oh, revelations. Exactly, condemn yourself. I'm glad that you all appreciate it because this is just who I am. That's it. Washing my hands. So, yes, the whole, like, elegance training and etiquette training and all of that is just so that I can be refined because y'all know I can get really silly and I'm never going to lose my personality. But, you know, I do want to polish things up. But as far as my image, even before, like, I lost the weight, or this is just me because this is just me. Okay. Salmon over a single layer and then spinach on a single layer. So, really, y'all, this is it. Just had this ordered this morning, um, fresh spinach. I do have some frozen spinach and I thought maybe I could thaw some of that out and put it on here, but that's why I placed that order because, you know, if I did frozen spinach, maybe it would make it kind of watery and I didn't want that. Ah, yay! I love it when y'all make this stuff, absolutely. And you know, I just thought of something delicate today, just a few little pieces of spinach. It says two cups. I'm just making for me, just for me. Um, sorry, um, I'm just placing the little spinach leaves on top of the salmon. Um, but this would be great. You know, like honestly, the Harry and David gift set is wonderful. I'm grateful. I know that stuff is overpriced, but it's, it's the thought that counts, right? Um, but you could get, you know, I think this spinach bag at Publix was like $2. If you have regular burrito um, tortillas. Yeah. I'm using the gluten-free cassava, but they have almond flour. They have regular flour. Just getting my spinach all the way across. Um, kids could do this because this really isn't any. <laughs> Jessica from Cali. 
Yes. You love the silliness? Yes. And Condenia, absolutely. And I'll tell you why, but I sprinkled a little bit of this on the goat's cheese or cream cheese. I'm going to do some red onion too. It just says here, flour tortillas, lemon pepper, Asiago cheese dip. So Condemia, just so you know. Okay, I'll show you guys what I have. These uh, spinach stems, they're sticking up. I'm going to have to get that in there. Maybe I'll do a little bit more lemon pepper. But you see this recipe, it called for lemon and pepper Asiago cheese dip and spread, which I didn't have. And even if I did have, I wouldn't eat it because I can't have dairy. But y'all saw I was at the movies last night. I had a kid's popcorn and I had a kid's Coke and impossible nuggets. So Condemnia, what I'm trying to do <laughs> is make my own substitute with my goat's cheese. And then I added some lemon pepper sprinkle on top of that. I'll do a little bit more. I don't want to overpower the salmon, but um, if you have like a uh, flavored, just a little bit, if you have flavored, um, cream cheese or flavored goat's cheese. Y'all see me use the plain and the sweet, so the honey or the blueberry, or the cranberry, um, but you can also keep my pearls in the shot. <laughs> you can also um, get the savory. So they do have like a garlic and herb goat's cheese and garlic and herb cream cheeses. It's got the little chives and green pieces in there. I wouldn't use that for Maggie cakes like we did yesterday, but that would be great on something like this. So, you know, get creative. Coffee, almond cream, and my sugar-free sweeteners. I was out this morning, so just got to refill at Panera. Okay, I like onion. If you don't like onion, completely avoid this, but I've been working on this. I'm home alone, so I'm like, Who's that? Oh, my lawn guy is here. He's riding around. I'm like, okay, I'm working on this red onion. So I'm just going to cut a little bit. I'll have it raw. Um, red onion is the only onion that I'll eat raw. Doesn't make me cry either. So we'll do a little of that. If you don't like onion, completely omit this step. I know. Cheat day, shame on Maggot. Y'all, apparently, yeah. Okay, do I look like I know about Marvel? Usually at Marvel movies, it's nap time for me. But, you know, someone was like, hey, you want to go see the, um, it's opening night uh, for Doctor Strange. I'm like, who is that? But, um, yeah, we took the kids and they had these huge pretzels that were like the size of my cutting board. I'm just going to chop up the red onion. Um, so like I've told you guys, you know, and that's why it's taken me three years to lose the weight. I do believe in enjoying myself and indulging on occasion. So if I'm at the movie theater, but you know, I watch my portions. I got the kids popcorn and the kids Coke. So yes, that's a cheap day. But it is Mother's Day weekend, so, you know, I promise I'm going to get right back on it. I'll do my egg fast and everything. But um, that way, you know, you don't feel like you're... <laughs> that way, you know, you feel like when you're out, you know, everybody else has got the large popcorn and the icy and the big, big Bavarian pretzels that look like a, you know, this cutting board. All right, so I've got some green onion here, red onion. So I'm just going to scrape this off in my hand. But yeah, y'all know I don't eat that. And I did post it. Y'all are here to hold me accountable. Um, I did post it on my community tab and on my Instagram. So you can see what I ate. All right. So we're done. We're going to roll this up and cut it. Cut it. Cut it. All right, so for me, cassava tortilla, a little bit of lemon pepper, um, goat's cheese, cream cheese if you can have it. <laughs> Appreciated, but not uh, required, no. Thank you all so much for being here. Smoked salmon, fresh spinach, red onion. Kids can do this, you know, 
help the kids make something for mom or grandma. Okay. <sighs> Tortilla, dip, salmon, spinach, roll gently but tightly. Ugh. Okay, so y'all know my uh, cassava tortilla is delicate. Maybe I should have microwaved it a little bit. Oh, I don't want it to tear. I'm rolling. I'm getting a little bit of a tear, but I've got it rolled. All right. And then I'm going to cut and plate. And then just put some berries on the side. Not anything fancy. Something you could do for yourself or for Mother's Day. All right. So let's see. We'll just cut this into... Now my cassava tortilla, I'm trying not to press too hard on it. Let's see if I can get some really nice round ones. Just cutting them maybe like, maybe an inch. Etiquette says the proper canapé or finger food is bite size. So you just put it in your mouth and you can eat it in one bite. You really shouldn't be taking anything away from your mouth when you eat. And I'm getting more feedback that my bites are too big, but I'm all real. Okay, we'll get it together. All right, so I'm gonna go for the ones in the middle. Oh, kind of falling apart, but let me see if I can plate them delicately. Oh. That is one drawback on the cassava tortilla. It is just very, very delicate. So it will tear. I'm trying not to pinch it. I'm trying to like scoop it up. It's not the prettiest, but this is probably the best one. I'm just putting them down. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. I'm just plating them on their side on a plate. Oh, wonderful. Much better. You're doing meal preps and getting ideas. Y'all, I love it. Whatever brings you here, whether it's the pearls and the apron <laughs> or it is, you know, you have some weight that you need to lose. Like I struggle with, um, or you have, um, you know, health challenges. Y'all know I've shared that I used to be pre-diabetic. I'm just using a spatula so I don't handle them too much. Uh, used to be pre-diabetic, used to have borderline cholesterol, used to have elevated blood pressure. You know, the weight problem turned into a health problem um, over 40. And so now all of that is normal without any medication. Um, and we all know how precious life is. Hey, Wealth Talk, thank you so much for coming to class. Um, we all know how precious life is. So whatever I can do to spend the next 40, year, 40 years with you all, because I spent the first 40 eating the SAD, the standard American diet, I'm going to do it. So I took the um, middle part of the pinwheel, so, you know, the ones on the end, I'm still going to eat them just because they're not presentable. Mmm! 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 The chive and the onion. That little pungent onion taste mixed with the creaminess of the goat's cheese for me could be cream cheese for you and the savory of the smoked salmon all right we're going to put some fruit of course the picture they were perfectly round if you're using regular tortillas we'll do like a little fruit 
I don't know if y'all have, we'll do everything, okay? Sorry, I get a little excited. That's not elegant. Strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. So we'll just put a little fruit, dust it with a little bit of powdered sweetener, and we'll be done. <clears throat> All right, you all can vote. Look what I found in the back. I forgot I bought these. So we have all of the berries. The fruits that I eat are the low sugar fruits, so apples, citrus, berries. We have fresh blackberries. We have fresh raspberries. We have some fresh blueberries left over from the Maggie cakes. And, ooh, they're starting to look sad, y'all. Some fresh strawberries. So does anybody have a preference or a little bit of everything? So a little bit of everything, or y'all want to pick? Let's see. Blueberries and strawberries. Condemn you, you got it. All right. So my portion is a handful of berries. So I always use like these little condiment cups just to measure. I can kind of eyeball it now. So we'll dust and we'll do a little bit of almond cream. Rinsing them off. All right, so we'll make a little berry. We'll cut up these strawberries really quick. So let's see which ones still look very nice. Woof. Yeah, you know, towards the bottom, some of them are like, and I hate to waste, so. All right. All right, I'm gonna rinse off a handful of strawberries. And like I said, if your strawberries don't look good whole, that's fine. I do a little quick little chop, much better ones. Blueberries, you got it. We got blueberries, okay. So we'll make a little, a little, eh, not parfait, but a little quick presentation. All right, so using the kids' janky old plates. I like this when I'm just cutting something small just for me, just for me. So if your strawberries look great whole, that's fine. But if they don't, that's okay. Cut the top off. Of course, you want beautiful ones when you're doing chocolate covered strawberries. And then, especially with kids, lay them on the flat surface. Go down, turn it, go down. An easy quarter. So then your strawberries look, you know, better. So we'll plate those. I'm gonna do that to all of them. So I just have like five strawberries and some, we'll sprinkle some blueberries over tight, over top. Make a nice little parfait. Plus Nana would approve the color on the plate. This is a great, fun. So you can see what I'm doing. Just gonna get the rest of these strawberries. And for me, it kind of stretches the food. It makes it look like you have more than you do. <laughs> Little optical illusion. And for someone who's greedy like me, 
Jessica, a parfait with the almond whipped cream. You got it. So if you like whipped cream but you can't have cow dairy, like me, there are plant-based options. Uh, just finished the coconut whipped cream. And we're going to use the almond whipped cream. All right. So mix them together or se separate. Drain the water out of these blueberries. I don't want them to mess up my presentation. So this is what we have so far. So separate or together? Oh, you're giving me a virtual hug? Thank you. I will take it, sweetheart. Should I mix the blueberries in with the straw? That might be a nice little mix. And then the um, whipped cream? Or you like it like this? <laughs> We're going to do our whipped cream separate or together. <laughs> I'll clean up. You like it like that? You got it. Okay. Amethyst. Oh, mix and cream. Huh. Okay. <sighs> we'll do... Decisions, decisions. I like it. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit. Oh, I have an idea. Just you wait. I'm gonna give you both. We have blueberries, we have a little mix, and we have strawberries. All right, get over yourself, Maggie. Now, here's your substitute for whipped cream. You can get ready, mip, ready whip made with almond milk or coconut milk. <laughs> shout, shout out to the parfait. Shake. I'm so silly. I'm glad y'all like it. Because in my mind, I'm elegant. I'm hosting fancy dinner parties with my pearls and a cocktail dress. Hello, Shafit. Thank you for being here. Um, we're drinking wine. We're talking about whatever. I don't know. I have beautiful plates. And then on the inside, I'm like this. <laughs> Y'all. Okay. Focus, Maggie. I really try to keep it together. I'm gonna do for color. Okay, so let me take my picture. Uh, you can make a mimosa for mom. I still have my coffee here, a glass of wine. Yes, yes, yes. So we have our salmon pinwheels for me. Cassava tortilla for you could be flour. Uh, goat's cheese for me could be cream cheese for you. Uh, a little bit of lemon pepper. Um, some fresh spinach. A little red onion. And then some fresh berries and almond whipped cream. As always, gluten-free, dairy-free, sugar-free. All right, let's take a picture. And then we'll pull up a chair. We'll chat and chow for a little bit. Is it lovely? Oh, you like it? You like it? You like it? Shout out to the parfaits. I know. Ah, shout out to the parfaits. Everything is better with a little whipped cream. I would probably do like a little dusting of powdered sweetener, but I give my scholars what they want. <laughs> All right. Pictures, some with the flash, some without. That's how Maggie, the substitute teacher, started. Just taking pictures and people were like, did you make that? Yeah, I made that. I don't know if that's a compliment or I should be offended. 
Y'all know how it is. All right. Beautiful. Nana would approve. She might be watching of the colors. All right. So let me pull up Dexley. But for Uncle Stu, we have our strawberries, our almond whipped cream, fresh blueberries, y'all. This could be any fruit. You could do apples. You could do orange slices. Use what you have. I just, you know, keep berries on hand. And then um, our salmon pinwheels. I'm going to have one. And I know, small bites, Maggie. But I'm hungry. <laughs> I think I want a little spritzer. I'm going to do like, it's going to be a clear soda. But I'll uh, like put like a lemon or something in it. My Zevia cream soda, zero calorie, zero sugar. But I'm just going to pour it in a wine glass. It's probably not elegant to put ice in this. I don't know, but I'm going to. We'll make a little morning cocktail. Skinny syrups, we're going to do a cranberry cream soda. Zero sugar, zero carbs, zero calories. I ate one of the pinwheels, but whatever. Almond, uh, almond, alkaline water. You can buy it or you can make it. Links are in the description. I'm getting some ice. So Condemia, let me know. I usually take my apron off to eat, but if you want me to keep it on, I will keep it on. I'm wearing my apron and my pearls by request, but usually when I sit down, I take it off. All right, so we're going to do some cranberry. So this is like my grenadine substitute, sugar-free, calorie-free. This could be sparkling water. This could be diet Sprite. This could be whatever. Just something with some bubbles for fun. Mm, you picked up the eight pack of the Zevia cream soda. Okay. And just because I'm extra festive, oh, it matches me. <laughs> I'm just going to do a quick little slice of lemon, completely optional. But I got a whole bowl of them over here. So this is, look at me. It's my inspiration. So then I just try to find ways to uh, incorporate it. Let me wash and slice. Wait a second. Would lemon go well in cream soda? Let's think about that, Maggie. Because this is like a creamy, I don't know. I was going to do lemon, maybe just as a garnish. I don't know. Lemon cream, I guess. I won't put it in the glass, I'll put it on the glass. Fancy. <laughs> All right. Just a little slice. Oh. Knives are in the description. Um, brandless, under $10, really good quality, just slices through. Cut a nice little strip so you can seem fancy. Make mom a little mocktail. If you have vodka, you know what to do. <gasps> Y'all sound the alarm. Ooh, garnish with a berry. Great idea. Strawberry lemon. This is so fun. Happy early Mother's Day, Nana. A grade for you. Oh, A grade. Nana's grading the teacher. So, I get an A. Thanks, Nana. Thanks, Mom. That is so pretty. All 
right, now I'm gonna sit down. We can chat and chow. Oh, Nana said small bites. Totally forgot. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap because I totally forgot I had an appointment and I got to wake somebody up. Thank you all so much for being here. Happy Mother's Day, Nana. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, Instagram. <laughs> Goodbye, um, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook.